So you've been hearing about people making big money on meme coins. You try and trade meme coins yourself or you just keep getting rugged all the time or you keep taking losses and you don't know what's going on. In this video, I'm going to show you why most beginners are stuck in this trap and easy ways that you can get out of it just using some very basic free tools. To do this, we're going to use Deck Screener. So just come to deckscreener.com and on the left, click on new pairs and I'll show you exactly how it works. Now, if we change the age to within one hour and we click on the age button here a couple of times, you'll see brand new fresh launches. So these are ones that are launching within the last kind of two or three minutes. The first thing you need to do when trading meme coins is stick to one blockchain or one platform. Don't get make things over complicated because for each blockchain, you're going to have to create separate wallets. There may be bridging involved and it can get very messy. And I would advise sticking to Solana first and foremost, if you're looking to make small flips, for example, if you've got anything from $10 all the way up to a few hundred dollars that you're looking to invest and you want to turn that into 2x, 3x, 5x or more, stick to Solana. So here, basically click on filter, click on all platforms and Solana. Click save, now click apply and you'll see all of the Solana launches. Now we can open some of these in new tabs and have a look at them. And what you'll find more often than not, are most of these brand new launches will be rugs. So we'll come back to those ones in just a minute. We'll click on a few other new ones here as well. And the most common way you get rugs here with some of these new launches are issues with the contract. And these are all things we can check. So some red flags I'm going to share with you right now, a few of them. First of all, when you see a brand new launch and you see liquidity really, really high, like crazy high, uh, not particularly this one, but you see anything like 50K or 100K, that's a red flag. Usually a brand new uh, a coin launch, it wouldn't have so much liquidity so quickly. The other one is when you see liquidity, the LIQ that you see here on the right hand side, and it's more than the market cap. This also shouldn't happen. That's kind of a backwards way of looking at it. So that's very likely to again be a scam or rug pull. The next thing we see is liquidity here. You can see here on the right hand side is not burnt. It's not locked and burnt. Usually you see a green circle here. So let me show you one uh, which is a legitimate um, uh, coin. So let me click on a few of these other ones and see if we can find one. So you see this one here, it has that green lock sign. This is also obviously not doing very well, but at least the liquidity uh, was burnt. So how do you check this? One basic way I do it is I use free bots. So for Solana in particular, Solana meme coins, I use Soul Scanner. I'll link it in the description below. But basically for any of these, for example, uh, some of these ones here, we can click on where it says the name of the coin. Like next week, we click on the right hand side, that little copy button. So click on that. And then the address, the contract address that identifies this meme coin is copied. Then basically you come over to Telegram, and soul scan about, just search it in the left on your Telegram uh, app and you can find it. So this particular one, which is called next week, you see the mint is off, freeze is off. This means that they don't have control over the contract anymore after they created it. If mint was still on, they can create more tokens. So if there's 1 billion tokens, they can create another 10 billion if they wanted to, which will obviously dilute the value. And that's a form of a rug pull. The other thing here is LP. So you can see 0% is burnt. Dev is holding LP. You don't want that. You don't want them to hold the LP tokens because it's another way to rug pull. They can pull the liquidity. You want this to be ideally for Solana meme coins, 100% burnt. And then when you go down here, we can actually have a quick look at holders as well. You don't want there to be one or two people holding massive uh, percentages of this meme coin. You don't want them to be holding 20, 30, 40%. Why do you think that is? Well, the answer is quite simple. They will dump. And this is another way people rug collections. They uh, snipe a lot right at the beginning. Usually there is an insider, so somebody involved, or maybe the dev, uh, him or herself. And then they will suddenly dump all of their 40, 50% holding for some profits. And then that, that's it. The coin is completely dead. So you see this one already, it's uh, literally, this is the one we were looking at, rug pull. So you see liquidity has gone to under one. And you can usually see it here on the transactions before everybody's panicking, trying to get out. If we scroll down through the uh, transactions, you actually you can actually see this happening. So you can actually see where they've removed the liquidity here. And you can see at the uh, beginning where they added the liquidity. So you can actually see that quite clearly on transactions. So there's a few ways we can prevent it. One is, uh, like I said, we use the bot because it basically shows up uh, red flags with red siren sign. So it's very, very easy to spot. The other is just avoid very, very brand new launches. On Pump.Fun and on Dex Screener with any blockchain, most of the rug pulls, most of them happen within the first few minutes. So if you only trade 
any new meme coin that's at least five minutes old, believe it or not, statistically speaking, it's all probabilities, you've literally avoided 95% of rugs. Just like that. Just by not aping into anything new within the first few minutes. You've actually avoided a lot. Now, you might argue, well, how can I get in early? Well, usually within the first few minutes, even if it's a legitimate collection, it's not suddenly gone to 1 million market cap. It's usually still very, very low. But at least now, you've increased your chance that it's very unlikely to be a rug pull. So you've got a chance of making a 2x, 3x, 4x, etc. You don't want to waste all of your money and lose it all on all of these rugs by just not doing these basic checks. The next thing I would advise, you can see here on the right-hand side on the market cap, some that... Um, went up and then then dropped quite low in terms of market cap. But basically, let's click on any of these. By the way, just here, as I'm looking through, you can see this one, Trump, um, a full slash sold. You can see the liquidity is more than the market cap. So this is obviously a rug or a scam. That shouldn't happen that way. And usually you get this block trading, where usually what they do is they set up their own bots to make it look like it's a collection that's only going up and it's, you know, it's, it's going to go to the moon and stuff like that. This is how they trap people. And people get rugged all the time and stuff like this. There's not a natural looking chart where you don't see any selling. Sometimes contracts don't even allow you to sell. That's a function they built in. Again, the bots will pick up on this type of stuff. Another common thing that happens, and I'll I'll use this as an example. We'll just turn to market cap. This is centers for DGen control. And um, this is one that ran to um well look like a hundred. It may have been one that came straight from pump.fun. How do I know that? And this is another thing to watch out for. Don't get confused with the platforms. If anything starts at around 72,000 um, uh, from launch, it very likely came from pump. Very, very likely. Because that's literally where it needs to hit uh, to get the bonding curve. And then a pump.fun will release that coin with the liquidity at 72. So usually what happens with those is you get initial sell-off. A pump sometimes happens to 100, 150. And then it dumps all the way back to zero, which this one did. Now, let's say you didn't know about the pump. Anyway, even if you didn't know and you saw this, very, very careful about buying anything new that's already establishing a downtrend. It's extremely unlikely this will turn a corner and go back up now. The reason for that is usually the first 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes is where most of the volume is and the momentum. So if it doesn't get going from there, it's never going to get going unless they do any crazy new marketing or some celebrity mentions it or something like that. All stuff that's very, very unlikely. And if you see the volume going down as the price is going down, stay away. Better yet, if you see the volume starting to go down, the price is still stable and you bought in, sell, sell and run. I've, very, I've hardly ever seen a meme coin go up on uh, falling volume. It's impossible in any asset class actually, but especially meme coins, you need volume to take the market up. The other red flag, look here where it says makers. Can you see that? 348. And in the last five minutes, obviously, it's less. But overall, it had a lot of holders. You can see here on the holder count, 241. So when we go back to this screen, quickly glance over. And if you see where it says makers, and if you see next to it where it says three and one and five, it literally, it means the coin has literally a handful of holders. So you don't need to even guess or check bots or anything to know that it's a scam or it's not going anywhere. It has to have a few hundred holders minimum for it to do anything or move. And if it doesn't have that minimum number of makers, it's obviously not going to do anything. This has one holder or one maker. This is obviously a scam. This is just one person, he or she, just using a bot, trading the price up, trying to trap people. That's all. This is a very common scam. But notice, with Dex Screener, with this particular table, you can quickly glance for that. Loads and loads more tips I can give you as well. If you want a more extended video on this type of thing, just mention it in the comment section below. More than happy to help. Thanks very much for listening.